Good morning and welcome back to yet another video here from the Offkit Garage. This will be a quick one. You have seen I have a low voltage alarm on my bed. Oh, really? Really? I'm just starting the video. People just don't care. Well, anyway, this morning I woke up and had a low voltage alarm on my system here. And I said, this is strange because we are still having 12 point, it was like 12.8% this morning and a low voltage alarm. They said, there is something not right. Usually I get a low voltage alarm like 7% or so when we go under 50 volts. And before the low voltage alarm, I usually get a low state of charge alarm, a low soak alarm. And I didn't get this this morning. I said, something is not right. So I just logged into the smart shunt and we can see the low voltage alarm. If we have a look at the settings here, my low voltage alarm is at 49 volts and goes away at 50 volts again. But my low state of charge alarm is at 10%. So something was not right. So I looked into the BMSs. This is the this is the Heltec, Heltec BMS in the bottom shelf. And I could see voltages under 3 volts at 13% or 12% state of charge. Something not right. The JK BMS as well, 3 volts, one is under 3 volts, but it claims 35% state of charge. Something is not right. And then I went into the, into the, where is it, overkill. The overkill BMS in the top shelf and could see, well, these voltages are 3.2 volts. What's going on? And then I discovered the discharge button is off. So the, the top battery is completely isolated. It got charged, but it doesn't discharge anymore. While the other batteries are doing both. So I have disconnected. I have obviously disconnected the top shelf battery by accident. And I think it was when we did, when we did the knee test here and I disconnected and I turned off discharging on the BMS here just for safety reasons, because this is a fully charged battery sitting here. And I must have accidentally clicked on the Overkill Solar BMS instead of the QUCC BMS and have turned off discharging. And to be honest, I have filmed this video like four days, five days ago. So since then, this top shelf battery must have been disconnected. <laughs> okay, let's turn it back on. Let's reintroduce it to the other batteries and see how much current is actually flowing. Um, this is a 100 amp BMS here. Maddie has sent me from Canada because she doesn't need it anymore and said, well, if you want to do some testing with it, knock yourself out and I basically did. So it's a 100 amp 16S 48 volt BMS overkill solar. Not sure what the settings are. Parameter view. Yeah, it has a discharge overcurrent disconnect of 110 amps. The same for charge. So if we see more than 110 amps for 32 seconds, the BMS will disconnect the battery bank. So this is a safety feature in the BMS. So let's turn it on and see what happens. 150 amps. Holy smokes. So this is basically now discharging into the other battery banks to fill them up again because they are really low. This one has been charged for four days. Um, let's see. Uh, the current is already under 100 amps. See, there's, there's usually no trouble adding a second battery. Even they are empty. This one is like 30% charged maybe or something. You could see the initial current 150 amps from one battery bank into the other ones. But after a couple of seconds, it tapers off then to only 80. So this is always a bit of a stress test for the BMSs because this is a very high peak current coming in. But they handle it well. All the fuses handle it well. The, the DC breakers handle it well. And there's not there's no trouble. Still discharging with 72 amps. And we can see these cells are getting low as well now. But eventually the battery banks will balance out again. So there's nothing there's nothing else I need to do. Just turn it on, wait, give it time. It will balance out itself. Yeah, if we go back into the JK BMS, we can see here 30, 32 amps coming into the battery. And the overkill solar gets uh, 25 amps 
while this one is around 20% short, as we know. Yeah, guys, this was my moment this morning. I thought I share this here on the channel for other people to troubleshoot their parallel battery banks. If something doesn't look right, most likely something is not right. So I really, with all these with all these smart BMSs here connected to one app, I really need to pay attention which one I turn off. So this doesn't happen again because this is my production battery here, supplying power to the garage here, pool pump and car charging and all this kind of stuff. Okay, guys, um, better get shaved and changed. And then we continue with our Mason battery here. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support here on the channel. And until this next video, you stay charged, stay safe. And thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye.